everybody, it's China Eastern. Mm. Today's model to know is Fernanda Lee. Actually, I think she's on my wall. And she is a beautiful pink haired Chinese Australian model. Whoa, she's right here, like eh, right there. Eee. Okay, that was okay. That's a really bad zoom. Yeah. <laughs> She has pink hair. Like her whole modeling career is her modeling with pink hair. It's pretty wild. I mean, there's just so much that's so cool about her. So how did she get started? Well, she was in Australia. She was at school one day and someone approached her about modeling. And at first she thought it was kind of weird, but she was like, hey, why not I give it a try? And then now she's like all over the world. I mean, she's signed with so many agencies across the nation, Paris, Milan, Copenhagen, like, on and on and on um and she has been working work, 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 work. yeah so you know things kicked off right after that and actually after her louis vuitton like appearance she's been like i'm gonna tell you about phenomenal Lee's stats now when I say stats, that means like her measurements, you know, like models are kind of identified by their bust, waist, and hips. And their height, of course, as we all know. But the thing about Fernanda Lee is she's 5'8", which is technically short for modeling. I'm actually 5'8", and I kind of got a lot of issues with, you know, agencies because I'm I'm not 5'9", but it's funny, you know, people say that, but, you know, you have models like Fernanda Lee and so many other people, they're able to model and have huge careers being kind of like the short girl. Who knows how long we'll see Fernanda Lee, but I imagine she'll be around for a little while longer. That's your model to know for this week. Stay tuned for the next model to know and all my videos. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite model? Make a comment below and see you next week.